Cincinnati going up against Brownsburg in the black and purple with Rocky Boyman, Mike Monaco on hand, and off we go. The fifth of our seven games on ESPN and ESPN2. And Rashawn Miles takes it back for Brownsburg and a good return and great starting field position. So we've got a lot of FBS commits in this game, especially on the Brownsburg side, including the quarterback, Ben Easters, going to Kansas to play for Les Miles. Yeah, senior, he's been playing around here a long, long time. Total control of this offense. Looks really good out there in the pocket. Looks very poised, relaxed. He knows where to go with the football, knows how to make all the line checks. We enjoyed talking with him yesterday in the film session. He, he knows how to play this position. Sure does. He is one of four FBS commits on the Brownsburg offense alone. Four of the top 27 players in our ESPN rankings in the state of Indiana belong to this Brownsburg team. And it's a give to Brandon Burks for a couple of yards on first down. We'll get into the wideouts for Brownsburg as well, and they have some big guys on that offensive line. Offensive line is the strength of this team, Mike, led by their two tackles, number 77, Josh Sales on the left side, Pete Niger on the right side, two FBS players here to come next year. They really want to establish a run here early on. You got to look at Preston Terrell. He's the wideout headed to Purdue. On a jet sweep, this is Luke Lacey. He's got a couple of Ivy League offers, and he's got a first down for Brownsburg. St. Xavier's head coach Steve Speck told us this week he had nightmares about Luke Lacey. He tore him up last year. He had about 10 receptions. was a difference maker in this game. they got to shut him down as well as Preston Terrell. This should be a really good matchup. Of those seven games that we have, follows three quarterbacks at St. Xavier playing for Power 5 schools right now. To the air on first down, complete to Liam Clifford. And they'll say he was out of bounds. And if not, he would have been gone. 36 yards to the guy headed to Penn State. Bread and butter play, play action, bootleg, and look at Clifford just with the speed, drives the defender off him, gets his hips turned, and then the quick break to the outside. That's textbook stuff. That's why Penn State loves this kid. Again, not just a fast player, but someone that knows how to play the position. That was great. A familiar name to those watching in Happy Valley as Makai stumbles on the snap on first down. Sean Clifford won a state title in his final season playing for St. Xavier. And with everything that's gone on in the Big Ten, Liam and Sean, they could have maybe two years together playing for Penn State. Absolutely. In this offseason, with everything going on with Kobe, they were able to get position. Mason Rowmiller is out for a 33-yard attempt. He hit from 42 in the scrimmage last week. And Rowmiller delivers. So St. Xavier got a stop, and they get three on their opening drop. A bit of a rhythm and help settle down Ben Easters. Get it to your best player, and let him do something with it. Terrell is one in the black, headed to Purdue. And taking a shot in that direction on the first play. And incomplete along the sideline. Went to Terrell, who made a tough catch, but I think he was out of bounds before he hauled this thing in. That's close. Got the, the, the one foot in. Second and ten. Well, I don't know. They, they called it a no catch. Well, coming out of that timeout, second down and nine for St. Xavier. Makai throwing again, and Charles Kellum is in with a touchdown. A 16-yard strike, and St. Xavier leads 9-0. Charles Killam out of the backfield, and Brogan Makai threw a absolute strike. Perfect placement of that ball. We said Brogan Makai is following some great quarterbacks who have suited up as signal callers for St. X. Sean Clifford, Chase Wolf, he's now at Wisconsin. Matthew Reedy was last year's starting quarterback. Signed to go play at Boston College. And Brogan Mackay is looking pretty good in his first quarter as a varsity starting quarterback. That's right, you can tell the reason why he won the job. He's looked poised, he's looked in command here. Get the jet sweep and then the running back just leaks out of the backfield, gets up the seam. And again, just perfect placement of that football. Eyes downfield, boom, there he is. Put it up where the receiver can get it. Easters, downfield again, and this time it's complete. 
Terrell came out of the pile with it. And a third down conversion, a gain of 32. Tremendous speed down the sideline, gets the release. Ball's right there, but that's a good job coming down with that football way up high in the sky like that. Defender's hands right in the middle. And then solidifying the catch at the end. Well, this will be a 38-yard field goal try for a freshman who last week hit from 46 yards, headed to halftime in his first high school game. And he is good. Much needed points for Brownsburg to get on the board. Might have a power five future. Rogan McKay will throw it back to find Clifford again. And he tiptoes out of bounds. That's big time. Bootleg to the right. They have the patience to set up and get the, oh, look, boom, put the foot in the ground, come back across the grain. And again, the accuracy by Brogan McKay putting the ball in. Coming up on the final 30 seconds of this first half. McKay to the end zone for a touchdown. Jalen Patterson for St. X. After the loss of four. Makai under pressure. Wow. Complete. That is Liam Clifford with his seventh grab over 100 yards through the air for him. Brownsburg 0 of 3 so far on fourth down tonight. On fourth and goal, a pitch for Burks, who lost the football. St. X has it. And a turnover gives it back to the Bombers. Gabe Dubois came away with it. And I just don't down the goal line. I've never been a fan of a bunch of ball movement pitches and you know zone reads, things like that. Down here tight, go with a safe play. Hand that ball off to your running back. There's some opportune times. It's just now it's this offense has got to capitalize. Oh. Vogelsang bobbles it. And Brownsburg will take over at the seven yard line. Marcus again, into the end zone. Touchdown, Brownsburg. And St. X, a team that is known for not making a lot of mistakes, makes a critical one, dropping the snap on a punt, and now Brownsburg punches it in. Part of a front seven that has kept St. X to negative two rushing yards. Picked off right through the hands of Patterson, and Luke Lacey just into the game at quarterback takes it away. Second down and 11. Pressure was picked up, and that is intercepted. Gabe Dubois takes it right back for St. X. Put it away, Brownsburg hung around, took advantage of some St. Xavier mistakes. Now they're back in and just down seven, getting the ball back. No issue on the punt this time for St. X. And Rashawn Miles is stripped. Alex Kemper stumbling, touchdown. Wow. We've said it all night, St. Xavier traditionally doesn't make a lot of mistakes, but they also take, take advantage of mistakes you make and just a critical fumble here by Brownsburg. Right at some point you gotta say, hey, I, I just gotta go down. There's not any more yards I can get. He's trying to do too much. That ball's getting out away from his body. There's 14, picks it up. Back-breaking play. You know, right there, okay, there's a bunch of jerseys around you. Go down. There's no more yards to get. The ball is hanging out there. And a St. Xavier defender right there to pick it up and take it in. He's got Kemper. seven offers, including one from Central Michigan. Third down and eight. Complete. Luke Lacey to midfield. Right now Lacey's hot. I go back to him. 200 yards as a freshman. Easter's up top for Lacey! Touchdown! 24 yards on the hookup.
Lacey is a gamer. Not super tall, 6'1", 180, but fast and just competes. 19 yards for Marcus on the ground on those two carries. Easter's off the plate big. What a catch by Luke Lacey adjusting. He's got a first down. And St. X throwing. And uh. down goes Makai, and he lost the football. Tony Allo's got it for Brownsburg. Wow. Monty Jackson brought the pressure, and Tony Allo picked it up. About 10, 12 more seconds have ticked off this clock. The future Kansas Jayhawk for Luke Lacey. Holds it in. Down to the 10. Thirty yards, Easters to Lacey. For Lacey, touchdown! Brownsburg, a point after from tying this up. Incredible night for Lacey. Four. Nine catches, 145 yards, two touchdowns. <laughs> Number five, Lacey's unstoppable. Look at the route, just a little shake. Get the defender to bite inside, high points the football. The Brownsburg with the juice right now. Getting the turnover late and then capitalize them with the score. We told you some Ivy League offers, as you see, for Luke Lacey. We so Easters kicks it short again. Gabe Dubois bobbles it. Oh, my God. And wow. Brownsburg falls on it. Nick Cloyd, the sophomore, came up with it. My goodness. From the 30-yard line with 30 ticks to go in regulation. Looking for Lacey again. Up top, jump ball and picked off. Eli Kirk with it. And he runs it back to the 31. Are you kidding me? If you're Ben Easters, you, you got to throw this ball away. And I know Luke Lacey is your go-to guy. He's had a big game, but that throw was not there. Chuck the ball out of bounds, scramble, try to pick up a yard or two, but a, a critical mistake by Ben Easters here, forcing this ball. He, he, there's the safe, this is the short side of the field, corner covering, safety over the top. Just don't know why you forced that ball. You want some mayhem, Rock? We've had seven turnovers in the second half. <laughs> Biddings, Tony Allo. Makai had it batted and intercepted. What a play by Jalen Wilson to pick it off. And Brownsburg is in the driver's seat with a chance to win it. Forced the interception. I mean, look at this from your middle linebacker. Was it a catch? We have dead ball, sideline warning, Brownsburg. Pretty darn good job of corralling that as it went to the turf. Yeah, it looked like a catch to me. I'm with you. And the hand, the ball may have touched the ground, but the hand was underneath it and was controlling the football, it looked like to me. Fingertips. And just at the last second curls that hand underneath. That's a catch to me. What a play. Yeah, what a play. Your senior middle linebacker got spinning in. around here. Second down. Burks again. Marked short of the goal line to bring up third down. Doesn't get a whole lot closer. If we go behind 77, sales. Burks, touchdown, ball game.
The celebration is on at Roark Stadium. The Brownsburg Bulldogs hadn't led all night until now. And that's, that's what it was, Mike. They just hung in there, hung in there, battled through some mistakes. And really, the, the run game for Brownsburg has been around all night. And when they desperately needed it, they got it. What a ball game here tonight. St. X out of Cincinnati. Wow, just crazy, crazy, crazy. And Brownsburg takes them down here at home, just outside of Indianapolis. And I think the big thing to take away is each team took advantage.